What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. There's a, Yeah, now we have enough headroom. Yeah. Ew, fool. Don't be gross, fool. <laughs> headroom? Headroom, yeah. That's what your girl gives me. Oh, it was nice, man. That yeah. was a good one. Head in the living room. Nice. Double meeting there. Thank you. Yeah. Been Appreciate free, that. Been freestyling a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. I've been um, just, that was just kind of off the dome. Just off the top. If you got, if you want more. Your girl off, does it off the dome. I was just though. want to say that. So I, I actually had that in my head <laughs> first before you said it. Yeah, so know. that was already up here. That's how fast I am. The thing about freestyling is you really got to be kind of uh, really quick with things. Yeah. Okay. Rhyme something with masculine. Faster than. <laughs> Easy. Fresh from Give me another one. Um, Fresh from within. There you go. There you go. Give me another one. A carpet. Carpet and that's... That wasn't even a word. Was that Dutch? That was Dutch. Yeah, that was Dutch <laughs> for... Space. <laughs> no, something that rhymes with carpet. <laughs> um, Target? Target. Tar- carpet's a hard one. Carpet, market... Target. <laughs> All right, um, we get it, man. You freestyle. <laughs> we should just go on Shea 45, do the five fingers of death, <laughs> and just, just making gibberish up. Yo, I'm like, look, that's the carpet. She almost, she, she farted. It's 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 same, the had the, I had the target. She a market, farmer's market. Got this bitch walking around like a... Is this Mike Lowe? <laughs> You keep moving away from the mic. Yeah, I'm saying. I'm trying to move from Marvin. Marvin. I just said, all right, it's moving like a minute. Marvin. 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 I'm a real artist. Yeah, put the mic right on your face. Boom. Yeah, boom. Crushed it, man. <laughs> Crushed it. That would be so good. bitch in a sarget. You look at your bitch in a sarget? People getting like motion sickness in their car because the sound keeps like <laughs> keeps feels like around. going around them. They're like, oh, I don't feel too good, man. <laughs> it uh, feels kind of you know, bad. That's why you know your verse is dope. <laughs> when you make people throw up, <laughs> when they're getting motion sickness <laughs> from your <laughs> from your delivery. <laughs> Got this bitch in the fog, <laughs> dude. So many like rappers, like underground rappers, always say that. Like my verse is so sick. I'm this and that. Just like imagining someone like getting an STD listening to like a song. <laughs> Yo, check my mixtape, son. Put this on. This shit is fire. It's sick. Just like, <laughs> oh, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, oh. oh, wow. <laughs> hey, dude, I listened to your tape and I just thought you should know that uh, I have chlamydia now. And so <laughs> just wanted, like, I don't know if you should tell your previous partners or what the deal is. I don't know if you should tell your listeners that like your tape has chlamydia. Yeah. But like, I feel like you were the root problem of this. So you should probably, it's like a <laughs> isn't it, like legal thing. You got to tell people. Also, thanks, by the way. Would have been nice if I knew if I was going to plug this in. I was with my fucking dad. We both have chlamydia. We don't want to talk about it. It's weird. I'm like, my friend made this music and bam. Now we both have an STD. I would have worn a condom (laughs) if I'd known. Warning. This (laughs) mixtape is so sick, you're going to need to put on a condom. Well, luckily, I was already wearing one, so (laughs) I got one on right now. Just (laughs) rolling down a condom (laughs) right before you put in a shitty, like, Venice (laughs) mixtape. And, okay, and, oh, yeah, there it is. Starting off with a banger today. Zing. I sound like Shit. Yeah, what happened, dude? Take a Zyrtec. I've been sick for three weeks now. I don't know what the fuck is happening to my immune system. I've been chomping vitamin C. <laughs> it's disappearing, man. I know. I've been, I I feel like after two or three more tours, we're just going to be like iron, like just immune to like, everything. Like low level bacteria. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's just not going to affect us. Uh-huh. Oh, you got a cold from being a little chilly? Yo, I've had this fan in my face blowing <laughs> methane and God knows other old, like old Carbon sex dioxide. particles and carbon monoxide. I yeah. Mean. 
everything. Yeah. I think that fan, the 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 fan in the wall, like yeah. when you're sleeping, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. I think that's a direct line to the exhaust. <laughs> you, know, you know? I think it just pumps exhaust into your face all night. Here, here's a horrible thought. I was thinking, um, man, horrible thought punch. Uh, I could have just said like any hoe right there. Uh-huh. Anyway, um, but non- Sex worker shaming. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> anyway, you know how they build <clears throat> the bunk out of wood and insulation material and shit? I just had a thought of that fan just blowing hella asbestos, just like <laughs> in our bunking mouths, and we just get cancer from touring. <laughs> Jesus. Literally never happened, but there's <laughs> That's, a Those are the you. kind of thoughts that you have like, like 3 a.m., when you're like half asleep and yes. you're like, I'm gonna die. Yeah. You're like the bus is the bus is currently driving off a cliff as I'm getting lung cancer from this asbestos spraying in my mouth. I actually woke up and was like, I'm getting carbon monoxide poisoning. There's no other explanation. Yeah. I think it was was when Matt was smoking the blunt up in the front room. That's honestly the... it seeped back into the and i I haven't like for some reason all the smoke just wafted into my fucking bunk. And I woke up and I was like there's like this burnt black cherry <laughs> smell or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to die. I don't know what this is, but I'm having a stroke. I thought that was going to be the first time you've actually yelled at me. Because <laughs> you like threw that door open. You looked right at me. And I'm like, oh, he thinks it's me. I didn't say shit though, right? No, you just looked at me. And then like you looked around. And you're like, never mind. And you close the door. <laughs> I'm like, he's upset. He's upset. It's hard to get mad when you can't see what the fuck is going on. I didn't have my contacts in. So I open the door and I just see like blobs of color. And I'm like, I don't even... I don't even know which direction to get mad right now. By the way, I'm screaming at like, <laughs> just like the one spot where there's yeah. nobody. Everyone, what the fuck are you doing? It was, oh, he's sleepwalking. Damn, he's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> That's what it is. I didn't realize how blind you were until I took a good look at your glasses one night. You oh, have yeah. like quad focals. Mm-hmm. Your eyes get smaller when you put on your oh, yeah, glasses. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's one of those ones where the face goes in. <laughs> if you look at me through my glasses, my face goes in like this. Yeah. It, you have like super villain like glasses, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I feel like you use that so you can see deep into your enemies. <laughs> That's what it is. They're equipped with something. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then you came out and then you you did that and then Matt was like, what the fuck? I'm like, um... It's probably the smoke. I bet it's going to his bunk. He's oh, like, really? He's like, you think? I'm like, yeah. He's like, no. Really? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's probably, probably, I'm, I'm like, Cody hates weed. And then, no, I, I'm fine with that. I just hate fucking blunt wrap smoke. Yeah. yeah. In I, my bunk while I'm trying to sleep. I mean, I love it. So, yeah, you just sleep. It's like a nice perfume to me. I'm like, yeah. Mm. Uh, so, he came, so then he came back out and you did the most Canadian shit. You're like, somebody smoking? <laughs> like it doesn't reek fucking <laughs> blunt rap. Like it's just not packed. With- I texted that, didn't I? Did you? I think I just came out for a second. Was like, never mind. I go back in and I'm like, it was somebody, somebody smoking. No, you came out and said, oh, that. I did. Okay, yeah, okay. you were like, somebody, somebody smoking. Right, good for me. Good for me. <laughs> I just imagine you standing in front of your bunk, like you didn't go in there, just hands on your hips, like <laughs> I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> Come on, come on. You can tell, do it. I'm going to tell him. I think someone's smoking in here. Hi, guys. I just... And open the door. Somebody smoking? <laughs> You're just feeling around. Feeling around. <laughs> my sense of smell is my strongest <laughs> sense right now. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the literally the only time the bucks... The bucks? Yeah. The bus was hot box. <laughs> the bucks. It's kind of funny. Like, like... Cartoon villains and shit like that that wear really thick glasses. Yeah. It's like their one, like, like fucking major, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, character flaw? Not character weakness. flaw, but like weakness. Yeah. yeah. Just knock that shit off. Yeah, like they're like super villains. Yeah. They're so smart. They have some <laughs> giant weapon that's about to destroy the world that they've built somehow. And you like bump them and they're completely incapacitated. <laughs> Is that like a common thing? <laughs> and oh, now, where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? <laughs> and now I will destroy the. Try that, nerd. <laughs> where are you going, ah. nerd? Uh-huh. <laughs> Put him in Wait a locker. A where are my glasses? <laughs> Put him in a locker. Yeah. He sucks. <laughs> you couldn't have invented like a strap of some sort. How about new eyes, dipshit? <laughs> maybe while you were building that big ass gun, maybe you should have built two new eyes while you were at it. You dumb fuck. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, my glasses. <laughs> hey, wait, hold on, hold on. Put this in your hand. What does that feel like? Is that your dick? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> What's this on your forehead? Are those, <laughs> just, just, are those your balls? <laughs> just teabag. <laughs> Sexually abusing him. That's all that is. All right, now how do I turn off his death ray for real? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm gonna put my balls back in your hands. <laughs> Enough messing around. How do I turn this thing off? <laughs> Holy shit. So <clears throat> I feel like some things have happened news wise, but I just I can't recall any of them. I can't recall any <clears throat> of them. I can't recall. Yo, uh, that's a random thing I actually didn't get to say. Um, I want to shout out the few folks I ran into in Amsterdam. Okay. they the most polite run-ins I've ever experienced. Really? Yeah. I mean, not that we ever really have bad ones. No one's ever mean. But, like, this was, like... I had one yesterday. I'll tell you about it. You keep going. Okay. This was, like, top-tier polite. Okay. Dude rides by on his bicycle. He pulls it over, and he, like, like gently says my name. It was like, he's like, uh... Noel, <laughs> like, like calling out. And I, he's like to my left, and I like turn to him, like, "What's up, man?" He's like, <gasps> "Yeah, yeah." He goes, <gasps> "Never mind." <laughs> <laughs> he just gets back on his bike Ride, and leaves. Rides like, even, even faster. Then I'm creeped out. I'm like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> that guy just said my name, whispered it in my ear, and so I go, "No, he, he was super nice, and he was like um, br- brutally honest." You know? Yeah. He's like, "I don't watch your videos. My friends do. I know who you are. I've seen that. That's cringe." Then he had to repeat, but I don't watch your videos. I'm like, oh, all right. Why, why did people do that shit? I'm like, why did people do that? <laughs> I don't get that. It's just, that's that's like what, it, such what, a weird <laughs> like pet peeve. What we're saying, guys, is uh, lie to us. Yeah, just say you're a fan. Why do you got to like <laughs> save some sort of dignity? Like you're like. <laughs> no, it's fine. It, it, it was cool. And the funniest one, though, was this dude in the smoke shop. And he turns around. And he looks at me, but Lena's to my left, and he just goes, oh, damn. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm like, oh, are you just flirting? <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, damn. I'm like, oh, wow. I was about to. Yeah. I'm like, this man got the confidence. <laughs> he does it one more time. He goes, damn. I was just listening to your podcast. And I'm like, oh, sh- oh, what's up, dude? Uh, that's like, he didn't have that look on him at all. Hmm. You know, and then he's like, he's like, damn. <laughs> and he's like, I thought you're gonna have to. He's like, that's yeah. I thought we was gonna have to throw down. Yeah, nah, I don't, I don't <laughs> care about that shit. What'd you say, homie? <laughs> oh yeah, just get weirdly, man. Yo, what the fuck, fool? Are you hitting on my girl? No, no wait. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> wait, that was a character I was doing on stream the other day. What? A bro who doesn't curse. Yo, you talking smack, fool? <laughs> What the frick is up, fool? <laughs> Just go that mode on him. Yo, what? Yo, you talking to my girl? Don't talk that crap around me, dude. <laughs> Yo, dude. Quit messing around, man. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the crap out yeah. of you. <laughs> I don't freaking like this crap, fool. <laughs> I don't freaking... Either uh... tell me your freaking problem or or or, or scram. <laughs> scram. Why don't you skedaddle out of here, dog? <laughs> Why don't you scram? Scram? What's the word, fool? What's the word? Scram! Why don't you fucking scram, fool? Yeah. He- Why don't you meander out of this <laughs> store right now before you catch these freaking fists, <laughs> buddy? Just nose to nose. Why don't you meander up out of here, fool? Yeah. Why don't you skedaddle? <laughs> That's just a sketch we have to do now. <laughs> just two bros, nose to nose, saying weird ass shit for thirty seconds. Why don't you take a hike, fool? I don't do that because hiking's for freaking weenies, dude. <laughs> yeah, he was. Super... <laughs> what I loved most about that interaction was like we talked for a second. And I was asking about weed, and he was super cool. And then his friend pulled up, and I felt like we were best friends the way he pulled up on me. It was crazy. He just walked. It's like nine o'clock at night. He's got sunglasses on. He's prepared to. Blaze his fucking brains out. Okay. He's walking up with a pizza and he just goes, Hey, Noel, good to see you, man. And just sits down and <laughs> proceeds to roll up. I'm like, Wait, I don't want to leave now. I want to hang with this dude. 
<laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, you're liking Amsterdam. <laughs> That's great. Good pizza down the way. <laughs> you know? Okay. And yeah, then just going about his business. That's funny. We walked away and I like looked at Alina. I'm like, should we, should we kick you with those guys? <laughs> they were kind of chill. That one guy was nice. I think he was hitting on one of us. <laughs> That's just the like the long con. Yeah. I go there, I smoke some shit, get high as hell, and just wake up in my hotel room alone. <laughs> <laughs> Alina? <laughs> Where are you? That's that's nice, man. That's nice. The the I had like a little bit of a no, an annoying one yesterday. Y- did you? I'm never one to be like fuck fans at all, right? Like <laughs> yeah, you can't never, fuck the fans. Never dude. like mean to people. But like <laughs> me and Kelsey were eating dinner. Yeah. We're eating outside. Okay. We're sitting at this table. Yeah. And this girl and her friend like run over mm-hmm. and she just, she just, she just goes, Cody. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? And she just sticks her phone in my face oh. and she's FaceTiming someone. And I'm like, Hey, <laughs> and she's like, Oh my God. <laughs> and she's just holding it. And I'm like, what? The, come on. Like, I'm trying to eat dinner here. What are you, how rude is that? Just sticking someone like your phone in someone's face. <laughs> hey, say hi to whatever. I don't oh. <laughs> Like, it's weird, right? No, yeah. like, hey, like, sorry. Not no. to me. And so I was kind of like a little bit standoffish to them. Yeah. Because I'm like, come on, we're just trying to eat. Like, it's, <clears throat> No, that's a, that's, a, that's a weird gesture to anyone. Yeah. It's just like so <laughs> like, a, like, uh, like, it just took me off guard completely. And it was like so like alarming. Even- just sticking something <laughs> in somebody's face and being like, hey, talk to whoever. Look at this person. It's just like, God, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Even if I did that or Marcus did that, it'd still be like, what the fuck are you doing, Yeah, man? exactly. I'd be like, it'd still be weird. Give me a warning before you do yeah. that shit. Like, hey, <laughs> can you say hi to my friend? She's on the screen right now. I'd be like, sure. It's just weird. I, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I haven't had the, the stick it in your face fuck a fan challenge yet. Mm. <laughs> fuck a what, dude? <laughs> you ever heard that? The fuck a fan challenge? <laughs> no, what's that? <laughs> shout, shout out to... <laughs> Fucking Chad, I love smoking mid on Twitter. He, uh, that's the horniest man online. Okay, he takes the cake, man. <clears throat> um, yeah, he he's always tweeting about the yo. I'm doing a fuck a fan challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not a challenge. <laughs> it's just not a challenge at all, dude. <laughs> it's just creepy. <laughs> Does he know that it's a joke? Or? Oh no, yeah, he's totally oh, okay, kidding. Yeah, he's yeah. totally kidding. Now he's he's not, he's not weird at all. <laughs> it's just such Yo, a... I need, I'm gonna need a couple people to help me out with the fuck a fan challenge. <laughs> I know you know what I'm imagining. What like a like a dude who wants to be like you know like the late twenties influencer. Yeah, us basically. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> some engineer with like 500 followers yeah. on Instagram on his story. Like yo, what up? I'm doing the fuck a fan challenge. <laughs> Uh, so if any of my fans want to, you know, help me out, dude, just just slide in. Hit me with a DM. You could be the lucky one. <laughs> Post. <laughs> he just in there refreshing his unreads. Hoping I just to- realized how that sounded the first time I said it. Yeah. I was like, I'm not the one. I'm not one to be like fuck fans or yeah, anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not personally one to fuck fans. <laughs> I don't really do the fuck a fan challenge. But <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this guy. <laughs> Holy shit! <clears throat> Let's both go on our phones simultaneously. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, sorry. yeah. Dealing with some shit. Yeah, I Keep mean, entertain for a second. N- uh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, oh man, it kind of. Uh, so the Mueller report came out, and uh, boy, oh boy, I heard it was straight F's on there. <laughs> uh, hopefully, nobody gets grounded. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. How was that? Oh, you keep, you keep entertained. Thank God. It's scary up there. No, we could talk about this since we can't. Like, um, it's not enough juice, <coughs> not enough real meat on this bone. What's up? Uh, this se- series on seventeen. I let my best friends pick my girlfriend, Chris. Yeah, it's just teenagers bullying each other. <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like for like thirty minutes. It's uh-huh. crazy, and. It's also bugs me out how comfortable these kids are on camera. Like, all of them. Super comfortable. Just being like, yeah, I'm zany. I like scooters. And it just it just fucks up what's supposed to be a 15-year-old. Dude. 20 years ago, that just would not be the case. No. You put a camera in front of a kid, they're like, 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Nervous as shit. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's just like, whatever. Yeah. Just living. My dad, I remember my dad, um, we got a camcorder and like we got some video converter and he was like, we just sent a video, uh, to my brother and cause I hadn't seen him in a while and like his, and my dad's dad and he just turned it on. And I remember just sitting like frozen in the living room <laughs> and my dad's like interviewing me basically. He's like, all right, so tell him how old you are. And I'm just like. I'm 16. <laughs> and he says, okay. It's like Sam. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is Sam. Turn on it the is camera. Sam. Yeah, Sam's like. <laughs> yeah, I saw the video. Don't, it's pretty good. Don't say anything incriminating. <laughs> don't say anything. How do you feel about lettuce, Sam? Uh, my lawyer is not present. <laughs> no, he look up. No comment. Um... You can find it in Whole Foods. <laughs> it's pretty neutral, man. I asked you how you how you feel about it. <laughs> I mean, it's a vegetable. <laughs> you can definitely buy it. People eat it. That's a great impression. <laughs> Do you eat it? Great impression. I mean, I will. I would. <laughs> if it was in front of me, yeah. yeah. I, I'd eat it. I wouldn't smoke it. <laughs> what? What was that? You think we're talking about weed? No. No. I'm just saying other people might. <laughs> Holy shit. We were, we were playing Fort and Ness got a just a fire roast on Sam. <laughs> what did he say? There's like this white Cisco skin in the fucking item store right now. Okay. It's like a white dude with like like blonde hair wearing <laughs> all platinum like clothes like from the 90s. Like, Sick. Like silver bright that sounds dope yeah with like a star backpack oh yeah and then ness just goes sam is playing a sam right now <laughs> <laughs> and we started dying and sam's like laughing and i'm like i wasn't gonna say it dude he's like you should have said it It was a good roast i'm like yeah you wouldn't have seen it coming bitch <laughs> <laughs> and he just like it, it he like doubled over he's like oh <laughs> and people keep telling me in my chat they're like sam's hotter than you i'm like yeah but i'm funnier than him so that's where it makes up for it. <laughs> Has Sam ever not uh, worn sweatpants? <laughs> hey, man, he has a job now. He wears full-on jeans. Yeah. <laughs> he wears full-on pants now, dude. <laughs> he tapes them around his dick. <laughs> uh, he's always got the sweatpants on, dude. Sam's a thought. Yeah. I'll tell it to his he's face. He's going to get mad. No, I'll tell it to his face. He's a thought. He actually got mad at me the other day. I couldn't believe that. Because you, because of the stream? <sighs> yeah, I'm like, I'm on stream. He's like, I'll be home in 40 minutes. He's going to swear this isn't the case, but it's 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 printed. Okay. There's timestamps. He's like, I'll be home in 40. Okay. I'm like, cool. I'll, I got another video queued up here. I'll react. Two minutes later. All right, get on. <laughs> get on. I'm like, you, I'm in the middle. I'm like, give me 10 minutes. Because I thought the video was short and it wasn't. <laughs> He's like, 20 minute video? Later, bro, I'm off. <laughs> I know, I saw that. Yeah, I'm like, he's just fully offline. <laughs> he He's early, and now he's mad at me. <laughs> he, like, walked in on me. Dudes, dudes, like, <clears throat> turn into... <laughs> Girl, yeah, the, girls yeah. when they do Fortnite, man. It's not even that. It's just get I do sensitive. Too. I that's what I'm saying. I get like, I get like <laughs> sensitive, like really emotional about Fortnite. When it's like, just get on, dude. Stop playing with my fucking emotions. Are we squatting or what? I'm sorry you're too much of a coward to commit to me <laughs> and this game right now. Or like when you join someone else's lobby and there's other dudes in there. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit, bro. I didn't know you were going to be on, dude. Oh, no. That's cool. I mean, I just didn't realize you were playing with other... with other. No, no, no. You I can totally... You we, had... you, we totally... There's someone else is coming, but he doesn't have to play. He's got other shit. To, you can no, play with no, us. No, no, no. It's... No, no. no play with no, us. I'm fine. Play I'm with fine. us. No, it's fine. I got other shit to do anyways. I'm, <laughs> and I'm the fine. Two other guys have deeper voices than you? Yeah. Who is this, man? <laughs> Who are you, man? <laughs> uh, this is my squad partner. <laughs> uh, Cypher? Who's talking to me right now? <laughs> <laughs> Has he seen my KD? Because, like, I don't appreciate the tone. Fuck is I don't need this shit. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. He left. <laughs> so yeah, so then I joined their squad and Sam's like, uh, he's ignoring me. I'm like, hey Sam, talk to me directly. Get it off your chest. He's like, what? What's up? I don't know who's here right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> talking to someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I have him muted. What does he say? <laughs> he's like, he's like, uh, Spock, tell Noel I'm not talking to him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just the most sensitive shit. Oh my God. It was so That's good. That's really funny. Yeah, he's never been mad at me. That was crazy. <clears throat> did you guys work things out? We did. Yeah. I made him. Stop complaining. Okay. I'm like, just get off your chest. Say what you got to say. And then nice. we argued for a little bit. Nice. And we hugged it out. It's nice to have like a nice open conversation like that. Yeah. Where you kind of just, you know. Yeah. Then he died and I took all his guns. <laughs> nice. We actually, we all took his guns and we were laughing about it. And then, <laughs> and then he just. <laughs> he was, no, we we had like his reboot card. Okay. Because he can bring people back. Yeah. Now. What's the deal with that? How does that work? They just copied Apex. But what is a reboot card? So like someone dies, you get their card and then you can find a van and then like. The van takes like 10 seconds, and then you can reboot whoever's cards you have. Gotcha. Yeah. And the van. And is... it takes up an in- inventory slot? Mm-hmm. Um, no, no, no. No, oh, it, it doesn't. doesn't. Okay. The whole team has it. But it was... Uh... <laughs> then after we took all his guns, he's like, give me my guns back. Give me my guns back. And we're all like, what guns? And <laughs> it was just so amazing how fast <laughs> we turned on him. We, we bullied him. God damn, I yeah. miss playing. I know. We missed you, dude. I miss playing Fortnite, man. <laughs> How's the hotel treating you? It's shitty. I was just watching that fucking, like, Sam sent the replay of whatever game you guys have where Ness plus the win. <laughs> You're just and I, the- I opened it up, and I it was the first time that I saw that the video was 20 minutes, and I was like, yes. <laughs> I know. From, for, I'm just going to sit in bed for the next 20, 20 minutes, minutes and watch other men play Fortnite. <laughs> Dude, it's kind of wild how, uh, I don't know. A ho- I feel like a hotel room is so uninspiring, dude. Yeah, it's it's hard to it is it is kind of hard to like I think to me it like promotes relaxation. Yeah, yeah. Hotel rooms are are relaxing to me. Yeah. Like the big ass beds, the comfortable shit, but it's like the tiny desk and the shitty chair. Yeah. The ti- and the lamp and it's just dark and you're like I can't fucking work in here. It's designed to make you not work. Yeah. So did you want to get something done? Yeah. No. no not but the, happen. I like the business motels though. Mm. Business motels always got, you know, big desk. Yeah. Like, you go to the business center? Yeah, go to the business center, print love, something out. Yeah, I love going to the... <laughs> I love hitting the business center in motels, dude. Just printing a few pages? Yeah, just printing. <clears throat> using that, like, old-ass PC. With, uh, like, that sh- shitty, like, firewall software that yeah. they have where you can only run, like, three programs. <laughs> yeah, I'm just printing out a couple pages from MapQuest. <laughs> a couple bars I'm I'm, I'm considering. Yeah. <laughs> no. Directions, so... <laughs> You want me to print you a copy? Would you like to meet me? <laughs> Would you like to meet me? <laughs> I can print you an extra one if you like. <laughs> I'm just You're speaking to old word. people doing business, I had this old motherfucking Postmates driver. Okay. <clears throat> I just, whenever I see that, I'm like, damn, either you don't have kids or they don't love you. It's mean to yeah. make, your, make your dad. He probably doesn't have kids. <sighs> this man was... <sighs> old old as fuck like old like wouldn't let me talk old okay. but ask me a question old okay where, where, where I'm trying to find your apartment what's your apartment number oh it's uh, th- yeah well, I'm in the front of the building <laughs> those are such different things dude <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that <laughs> All right, I can go. I mean, if you just give me your apartment number, I can come meet you up there. Then I can hear someone talking to him. Do you need help? I'm like, please fucking help him. Oh my God, no way. <clears throat> then he's starting it with the both of us. Okay. He's like talking to me and her. I'm just trying to, can you tell me where the elevator is? What's your apartment number again? And then the lady just like rips the phone out of his hand. She's like, what's your apartment number? And I give it to her. And then. <laughs> And then he he got up there. He did really, but then he did that the, really happened. Yeah, she had to take the phone from him and ask. She didn't. So he was that old. He was she old like as shit. Clearly saw that he was like having trouble. Yeah, and then so here is the saddest and funniest thing at the same time. I'm sitting at my computer, and I hear a voice just outside of my door go, "Hello." I'm like, he didn't even ring the doorbell. He just screamed, "Hello!" at the door. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. I'm like, okay. That's kind of a power move a little bit. <laughs> so I open the door. He gives me the food. And I shut the door, and then my phone starts ringing. Okay. So he called me and didn't even wait for it to pick up. He just screamed hello. It's just like this man is living in slow motion. I felt so bad being mad at him. 
<laughs> oh, that would have been so cruel. Yeah. You open up the door, snatch the bag. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You should get a different job. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so fucked, dude. <laughs> Just like, enjoy. I'm like, oh, good luck, dude. Good luck today. Good hey, luck. Man, maybe you're assuming the worst. Yeah. Like maybe <clears throat> his he does have kids. And maybe he has got a great retirement fund. Maybe no. he just likes meeting people. No, I, I mean... Maybe he just wants to feel like he's got yeah, no. something to do during well, the day. That's what all old people say. They get bored. Yeah. Like being retired. Yeah, exactly. I remember this lady, she asked me, I was dressed in a business suit. She's like, what do you do? I'm like, I'm a bank teller. She's like, oh, can you do that part-time? I'm like, yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm retired. But I'm fucking bored. <laughs> yeah, really? she's like, yeah, she's like, wa- like watering her lawn. Is it my? Bu- she's like my buddy's neighbor, and I was like, yeah, it's part time. She's like, what do you do? Just count money, and I'm like, yeah, deposit checks. If math is, if you're all right with math, you don't even need to be that good with it because I'm terrible with it. I'm on Xanax right now, <laughs> but she's like, yeah. So she's like, just asking me how to apply, and I think she actually applied. Really? Never followed up with her, but holy shit, yeah. <clears throat> But we won't have that problem because we're going to be working until we're 80. We're going to be doing YouTube yeah, until we're 80. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I was playing with a dad on Fortnite yesterday. And really? I never felt more like I was looking at myself in the mirror. Hold on. Tell, tell us a story. We got to take a break real oh, quick. Do we? Then we can, you can tell us a story. Okay. All right, guys. We all know that nobody has time to go to the post office. Nope. Okay? Look, we're all busy. Yep. Who's got time for all the traffic? Not me. The parking? Not at all. Yeah. Lugging all your mail and packages because yep. Lord knows I got big package. <laughs> it's a real hassle. Yeah? You like that? Yeah, that's good. Uh, That's why you need Stamps.com and uh, one of the most popular time-saving tools for small businesses. Stamps.com eliminates trips to the post office and saves you money with discounts that you can't even get at the post office. Um, it it, It brings all the amazing services of the post office right to your computer, whether you're a small office sending invoices, an online seller shipping out products, or even a warehouse sending thousands of packages a day. Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. Uh, with Stamps.com, you get $0.05 cents off every first-class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail. It's a no-brainer, okay? Saving you time and saving you money with your packages. It's no wonder over 700,000 small businesses already use Stamps.com, and right mm-hmm. now our listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Yeah. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in TMG. At stamps.com, enter TMG. Yeah, all you small businesses with big packages. Mm -hmm. Stamps.com, helping small businesses with big big packages packages. since whatever that's been around. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We also want to give a big shout out to our other sponsor of this episode, uh, ExpressVPN. Admit it, guys. You think that cybercrime is something that just happens to other people. I've heard that a million times. Yeah. And oh, cybercrime? That thing that happens to other, to other people? Not me. <laughs> not not me. Because I'm not the other people. Exactly. <clears throat> you may think that no one wants your data because it's just porn. Yeah. Or that hackers can't grab your passwords or credit card details, but you'd be wrong. Mm-hmm. Stealing data from unsuspecting people on public Wi-Fi is one of the simplest and cheapest ways for hackers to make <clears throat> money. It really is. I remember... <laughs> Sitting with Alina's cousin, who like he's like had a few successful startups, and he had like a programmer working for him. We were having a discussion about cybersecurity at a Starbucks, and he goes, "Someone was there, and he was arguing like it's no one does that, it's huh. this, this, and that." He goes, "Yeah, you want to see?" He pulls out his laptop and he fucking cracks some dude's lap, like uh, some dude's Bank of America password, like sitting like two tables away from us. Oh my god! Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And he he's like he's like I'm in that he's like I could log in that guy's fucking shit right now. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that's <laughs> sick. it was hard as <laughs> fuck. Sick. It was so hard. Everyone was like, <gasps> "Do it, <laughs> <laughs> fucking do it." Wire us the money, bro. <laughs> so yeah, um, when you leave your internet connection unencrypted, you might as well be writing your passwords and credit card numbers on a huge billboard for the rest of the world to see. That's why I decided to take <laughs> you guys action. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh, I do that all the you time. Do, yeah. I buy ad space for my credit cards. <laughs> I just pull out a notebook at Starbucks with my shit written on it because I, I can't remember it. Yeah. It's the easiest way for me to remember. My dad wrote a password once and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> or no, he put it in like an Excel file. I was like, what are you doing? 
He's like, what? It's fine. I'll just transfer it later. I'm like, no. no. It, was like, it was like Woodstock 69 or something, something <laughs> yeah. weird. Like, I'm like, Dad, I know you've had a lot of sex, but seriously, this is, this is the one time you're not protecting yourself. I know you guys didn't wear condoms back in your day. But anyway, so um, we've decided to take action to protect ourselves. That's why we use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data and hiding your public IP address. Uh, it's very easy to, has very easy to use apps that run seamlessly in the background of your computer, phone, and tablet. Turning on ExpressVPN protection only takes one click, and using it, you can safely surf on public Wi-Fi without being snooped on or having personal data stolen. For less than seven bucks a month, you can get the same ExpressVPN protection uh, that we have, and uh, they're rated number one by, <coughs> excuse me, they're the number one rated VPN service by Tech Radar, and they come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash TMG. That's express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash TMG. Three months free with a one-year package. Woo! Expressvpn.com slash TMG. All right. To learn more. Hell yeah. We're back. Yeah, looking in the mirror. I want to move on to this other thing, but yeah, looking in the mirror at this um, dad playing Fortnite. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, but he was, um, I, I spoke and he goes, oh, your voice is deep. I, and I'm like, uh, thank you. She's like, are you hitting on me? <laughs> oh, what's up, fool? <laughs> what the crap you just say to me, dog? Don't be freaking forward, fool. What are you doing? <laughs> he's like, I'm like, uh, thank you. And he's like, no, I'm just, I'm not used to it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm used to, uh, I'm used to playing with kids. Yeah. And I said, all right, well, I'm like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, you can't be that old. He's like, I'm old enough to be your dad. I'm like, what are you, like, 30? Because that's how old you'd have to be to be my dad because I'm only 10. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, throw out a number, and he doesn't say no. And I'm like, oh, shit, this dude's old. Like, damn, not, like, old, but, like, definitely mid-40s. You just hear him, hello? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same guy. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Oh, uh, hey, Cecil, what's going on, dude? <laughs> Oh, Noel. <laughs> nice to see you. Hear from you. <laughs> oh, Reeves Revis is here. Hey dude. <laughs> hey man. I think like some old ass name. Um You know, back in my Oh, uh, here we yeah, fucking here we go. go. <laughs> oh, I see your daughter turned off to push to talk. That's just that's cruel. <laughs> that's evil. That's evil. That's torturous for the rest of us. <laughs> that's not nice. Yeah, I'm playing Fortnite with his dad and he was very like Felt like an army dad or something, real calculated about it. Mm -hmm. All his call outs were real precise. <laughs> Medium ammo on me. <laughs> Made no jokes. Way too real. Yeah. No jokes. Yeah. No like slang. Like, ah, oh, I just got beamed. It's like shots from 177. I'm like, <laughs> all right, dude, we're not fishing. Like, fuck. <laughs> Laugh. Jesus. Uh, you know what they say, man? A, bad, a good day at the office. Doesn't beat a bad day playing Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, there it is. I can't wait till all these Fortnite kids grow up and they're just like, it's gonna be some closeted thing. Uh -huh. that we're just like, man, I miss Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you, you know, actually, I had a I had a dark ass thought. I may, I, maybe I shouldn't share it. I don't know. Everyone right now is like, share it. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking that, so they're, um, they're obviously shoehorning the, <coughs> the Avengers into. Um, they're, they're still doing that. Oh, dude, there's a there's an Avengers mode in Fortnite right now. Really? And it's in the movie. We could talk about the movie. I I, I won't spoil it, I guess. But I wonder why that. I wonder if that's like part of the reason why it had such a giant fucking box office. You I mean, see that chart? Oh, it was crazy. It, yeah, it fucking like over doubled the next biggest movie. Like it just came out of nowhere, Massive. too. Like it, I don't think they were expecting it. I think it's one point two billion worldwide. I think. I think in it's, the first weekend. Yeah, I think it's one of those phenomena where like, like it's almost the equivalent of like an artist dying. Okay. It's, it's like you know, oh, this artist died. Oh, who? Oh, damn. And all of a sudden, his shit's on the yeah. board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like it's like, oh, it's the last Avengers. I'll go watch that. Oh, it, is it the last Avengers? Yeah, in this like in the series. Yeah. Okay. You going to watch it now? <laughs> No, no. I mean, I we were gonna see it last night, and I was just like, I just don't have a fucking desire to watch this movie. I, I mean, just, I don't. Is I'm, it is it 
do you, is it like right to just care about this because other people care about it? I mean, that's that's me. I've I'm I really don't care for Marvel movies, but I'll watch them just because I know everyone else does. Yeah, and I just think it's a good way to, I don't know, like be in touch. It, it's also it from a film perspective, it lets you know, I don't know where CG is at, and and uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Like where major production shit is at the and it, it is probably a great movie. Like even isolated, if you just go see it, had no idea what the fucking Avengers yeah. is about. It's probably great, right? Yeah, it's it's I definitely think you'd be more entertained not having watched any of them. Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. I just think it so much of them blend together. Yeah. Because all the timelines are like crossed and you just feel like you're watching parts of the same movie mm-hmm. like over and over. Yeah. And you know, I mean, yeah, it's fun when the character oh my god, it's from the other movie, you know. It's yeah. the same movie. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You know, but it's it's just, <clears throat> I think for do, like comic book fans, like it's definitely a, a fun thing to watch, like those characters coming alive and all that. What I hate, and I've said this before, I, it's shit I didn't like in Black Panther, and it's any movie, I hate when these movies incorporate modern shit. It's like such like obvious like ad read bullshit. Like what? <sighs> like, um, in this mo- in this one, there's a Fortnite scene. And I'll spoil that because that doesn't hurt anything. It's the most fucking... It should have been a commercial. They should have just cut it out and made it a commercial. What was it? Oh, like there's some kids playing Fortnite? No, it's like characters in the film are playing Fortnite. Like fantasy characters are playing Fortnite. What? Yeah. On on what? Like an iPad or some shit? PS4. No way. Yes. They're playing the actual game. In the movie, yeah. That's, That's kind of fucking dope. It's dope for Epic. It took me out of it completely. I'm Did like, it? well, all right, I'm watching a movie that I guess the target demo is yeah. kids who floss. You're watching a $200 million brand deal pretty much. Yeah, I'm watching a $200 million kids movie. That's yeah. how I felt. Yeah. I felt like such a fucking just old piece of shit. I'm yeah. like, well, I okay, I don't belong here. Yeah. <laughs> just alienated <laughs> the shit out of me. <laughs> Even though you also play Fortnite. I play Fortnite on stream, but it's like still like, I feel like it's still a secret. Yeah. Like, no one, like... I can it's st- a secret. It's all we fucking talk about. I know, but I could still stand in a room and feel like I play Fortnite. You know, like, no one really knows it. Okay, yeah. I guess. Yeah, anyway. You're not, you're not in the middle of the party yeah, flossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got my Fortnite underwear on, but no one can see it, basically. I don't know. I I, I guess, you know what it is? I'll, I'll use this phrase. I felt attacked. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was targeting me. Um, It also just made me want to go home and play. I mean, it just makes you feel like... It kind of just makes you feel like you're just like you're like a sheep. Yeah, I think that's the best. Like all your all you're good say. for is just getting marketed to. I think that's what I'm trying like to it's say. It's like they knew they could put that in, and most people would see that and be like, "Oh, Fortnite, we yeah. play that. Like that's so cool." And yeah. they would have like a positive yeah. reaction to that when really it's just an ad. Yeah, and you're like, God damn! Like <laughs> it's like when you see fucking beats plugs and music videos. Yeah, it's like, just don't. Yeah, let me enjoy the video. Yeah, man. Yep. Took me out of it completely. I kind just I don't want to feel like just a fucking consumer. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean that's like the biggest consumer film anyway. I would say like that franchise. Although it is, yeah, and you know it is, it is. I mean, I guess it's kind of your own fault. You go see a movie like that. Yeah. You should be expecting shit like that. One hundred percent. I can't really criticize that. Yeah. I mean, but I will say uh, Thanos as a character is just I I like him because. He's what I want to see in a superhero movie, I guess. Like him killing people. Mm-hmm. More people should have died in this movie. Okay. They, it, more people should have died. <laughs> Didn't you say that about a movie recently? Yeah, the also? fucking uh, Bird Box. <laughs> them kids should have died. Fuck them kids, son. <laughs> I would have felt something for her character. Noel Some, goes into a movie just ex- like people need to die. Expecting at least three deaths. Yeah. And if the movie doesn't hit that, no matter what, it could be a rom com. <laughs> yeah. A character <laughs> and he you comes love. out of that thing like. Fucking nobody died yeah, in yeah, this shit. Yeah, yeah. Somebody <laughs> died. Somebody could have died out of heartbreak. Yeah, like one. <laughs> I'm just fucking Daria. He's a shit movie. I'm just Daria, dude. You're on IMDb. <laughs> Who? Daria Who? from fucking that MTV show. Daria, like the fucking morbid, just like monotone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm just like everything's pathetic. If someone <laughs> needs to die, we all die someday. I'm just fucking Daria. You're on IMDb. Yeah, writing reviews. Um, someone should have four died. stars. Four stars. Good plot. Somebody should have died though. Yeah, pretty much. That's you can roll me. If a character 
we love dies. I'm like, yeah, that's real. I like <laughs> yeah. that. Uh-huh. I like that. Yeah, so much. Um, what I really liked, and this ain't a spoiler at all, <laughs> they turned Hulk into a fuckboy. No way. Yeah, like Hell straight yeah. up. Like, you know, because now that. Um, the actor or the Hulk? The Hulk. Okay. So he like, he embraces the Hulk. Uh-huh, okay. He makes it. He walks around as the Hulk. And it's like some time has passed since like, a, you know, a certain event. So it's like he just kind of. He's like a YouTuber, but he's a he's a superhero. <laughs> and like kids like run up to him and want pictures and shit. And he's such like a douchebag and like you know, there's like they're the, like they're like Hulk, say hi to my friend. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's exactly. like, fuck off, I'm trying to eat dinner. <laughs> no, he's all about it. Yeah. He's like, hell yeah, dude. Oh, okay. He's Hulk like, smash. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> I really wish they did a scene in there with him being like, because it was like, you know, the kids. I would have loved it if he was like a straight up douchebag. Like some girls walk by and they're like, oh my God, hi. And he's like, what's up, Bruce Banner <laughs> uh, or Bruce Slammer? <laughs> you trying to get Hulk smashed? <laughs> what's good? <laughs> oh shit, you got my merch. That's what's up. <laughs> so like y'all want to see it or what? I don't know if you can handle it. <laughs> what's your, um, what are your guys' Instagrams? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you a pic or whatever. <laughs> I might have to make it smaller for you though. I don't know if you can handle the green machine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's pretty fucking big. <laughs> 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 you got my merch, sick. <laughs> Looks all right. <laughs> Damn, are those off whites? <laughs> yeah, I had those last year. Before they blew, my dad got them for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I say my dad, I mean me, because like I'm my own daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like I made me. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Hulk, Hulk's a fuck boy. <laughs> Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk smash, bro. He's, dude, he's got his little brown shorts, but they're like cum stained. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, damn! That must be some chicks gruel on there. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I probably should have changed before we came to this fight, dog. Like straight up, honestly, kind of have a hangover. Last night was crazy, bro, bro. Last night was a movie. Yo, can you shut the fuck up, <laughs> bro? And- this is a movie. <laughs> <laughs> can you shut the fuck up and move this freeway? Oh my god, dude! You talk so much, dude. So annoying. <laughs> Bro, 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 me and fucking Iron Man linked with these girls last night, bro, bro, it was lit, it was a movie. It was straight up like Avengers, like, you want to talk about the end game, homie, more like the Avengers got game full, like, I was in that shit all night, dog. Bro, bro, you ever know the hype beast kids say bro way too much? Yeah, yeah. Every third word. Bro. Bro, it was a movie, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, you're not listening, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, come on, bro. Bro, where where you been, bro? <clears throat> bro, just wear my fanny, bro. Yo, Hulk with a fucking fanny pack. Hype, <laughs> hype beast Hulk. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pulls up in one scene. Fanny, <laughs> off-white hoodie, fucking joggers. <laughs> Custom Yeezys, <laughs> fucking Rolex, gold grill just on the bottom, <laughs> fucking <coughs> single face tat. Uh, yo, what's cracking? <laughs> yeah, what's good? So like, you want Bro. me? <laughs> yo, bust that shit over there. Nah, fool's gonna get on my shit, dog. <laughs> I'm not fucking with no cars, dude. All that oil, bro? Hell nah, bro. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> starts his own weed company. I'm beating the I'm beating this shit to death. No, I'm, I'm loving it though. I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, you know, but the movie is entertaining. So I guess g- definitely go watch it. I'm gonna see it just for that Fortnite ad. Yeah, yeah. just for that. Yeah. Well, you know what's crazy is they plugged it in, and I hated it so bad that I had to say it on a podcast. Yeah, that tons of people are gonna be like, oh. Sick. Yeah. And then they're going to do what you're doing. I heard there's a Fortnite ad in yeah, it. Yeah. I got to see this Let's shit. Let's go see this shit, dude. <laughs> what if in the middle of the movie, they just have one of those 
terrible mobile gaming ads. <laughs> Captain America. Have it's you like tried? Not the right aspect ratio yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like portrait mode. <laughs> the rest of the screen is just black. It's like Captain America. What is she doing over there? It's just some girl with a low cut shirt. Oh my god! I'm winning! I'm winning! I'm winning! <laughs> Buy more coins now and you can win too. It's I'm winning. Shitty mobile gambling <laughs> app. It's just green screen behind her. Just bad as shit. <laughs> yeah, <Captain America. laughs> Holy shit, she's winning. Holy shit. Tell us how we can win too. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, man. Um, you see that guy that fucking shot the dog? Yeah. <laughs> what a segue, dude. He, dude, he... <laughs> His his fucking dog, there's a video of it. He was filming the dog, like, playing with the kid. And the dog just, like, nipped at the kid. Didn't even, like, hit it. Oh. And he just, like, just leaves. Like, that's the video. And he just goes, gets his gun, and then shoots the fucking dog, apparently. I would be so filing we, for a divorce immediately. Yeah, I know. And then his wife, like, posts, because it was, like, a teen mom or something. Like, she was yeah. famous. Yeah. And uh, she posted some, like, selfie with the dog, and it's, like, it's, like, you know, I don't know, like, you know, whatever his name was. I loved you so much. I miss you. And all this shit. I was like, God damn, this is dark. Fucking dark. Why, bro? Bro. Maybe that's just, maybe he was like, that was kind of the way he was training it, was shooting near it. You know? Like, don't do that. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, don't shoot your dog, bro. <laughs> what the frick is your problem, bro? <laughs> Too much, fool. What the? Bro, bro, low key. That's messed up. On God, bro. <laughs> low key, high key on the gang. Why did you do that, Why bro? Are you shooting your dog, bro. Low key. It's not lit, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was. Why? That's... I don't know why you would fucking do that. It's a French <laughs> bulldog, man. It's just expensive, dude. Yeah. Would you, would you just, <laughs> would you run up and shoot a vase just because, you know, your kid ran into it? <laughs> I'm saying, why? What the fuck is your problem? Probably, honestly, he probably does that. <laughs> Skeet shoots a fucking twenty thousand French, twenty thousand dollar French pot. I was gonna say the bulldog. Oh no! Oh, he threw it up in the air. Oh damn, and, bro! Oh no! Damn, bro! Oh, no, bro! Uh, <laughs> no! It's just such a weird fucking yeah reaction. Yeah. Why, Jesus? That guy's psycho. Americans, we got... I'm not even on some political shit. Just... Can we chill out with the guns? God damn I it, know. dude. It's... Cr God damn it, man. It's just... This is not even like a sharp take or anything, but just the amount of shootings in the last like two, three months. I know, dude. It's what insane. The fuck? Is it's, it because they're reporting insane. on them more? Is it's it getting because worse we'll click? we're just like fucking... We're just like, yeah, I mean, this is the way it goes. Is that the, Every time it's like, yeah. Uh, well. Is that the media trying to train us, dude? What do you mean? Is it just that it's always been happening and they're reporting on it now because it gets the clicks or like, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't think so. I, I feel like at least mass shootings, I don't think so. I yeah, think no. mass shootings have to have gone up. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like definitively. Yeah. I say that. It was like, it was like five. Yeah. You know those tweets that are like, like, uh. These are the mass shootings that have happened this week, and they're like, it's only Tuesday. Yeah. And you're like, God damn, that's crazy. I was looking at a picture of a kid last night who, he was at the synagogue, and he, like, risked his life. He was 21 years old. That shit fucked me up. Yeah. I was just looking at his picture, and I'm like, this dude has his whole life ahead of him. Mm -hmm. And it's gone because, because of some piece of shit. I know, dude. Those people at the, or the, the North Carolina, yeah. Charlotte yeah. one. Last day of classes. Oh, man. Breaks Sick. my fucking heart, man. All those kids in the library studying. Yep. Yeah. Why? For their, just pumped. Take their exams, leave, do summer. Yeah. Robert. Whatever they had lined up, internships, whatever. Sick, man. So fucked up. Even, even that bombing in Sri Lanka? That shit was messed up, dude. I read about a fucking guy. His whole family died. His wife and his kids. He was the only one that survived. I would kill myself. I was like... I think, I even, and they were on vacation. I, or something. I honestly think I would kill myself if that was me. There's no way I could live life with that burden. Yeah, knowing that the fucking Earth just robbed me of just 
was so important. And boom, I'd be out. So dark, man. So What's, dark. What trips me out about those guys is I think they were brothers and they came from like a like their father was like a wealthy like spice trader or something. And <clears throat> I, I could have this wrong, but my understanding is that the poli- when the police went to raid where they were living, their mom was there and their mother triggered a bomb on the raid. Supposedly. Really? Yeah. So, something like that. So her mo- their mom was like a terrorist too? I mean, I don't or know. Like a, I don't know if radicalized she radicalized or whatever. I don't know if she had intent to like, you know, <clears throat> commit like hmm. an act, but her kids did, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah, crazy. It it, it, it it fucking speaking of that word, it really is crazy how no media outlet will like really like label these guys as like terrorists or like like pieces of shit, you know? It, it I mean, that's what I've I've noticed that the um like the media is is showing like and 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 um <clears throat> like highlighting the killers like less and less. At least like in the mass shooting. Yeah, they're starting like to talk about the victims. Which, they don't they don't like I haven't even seen like a picture of the last like three. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. That's what they should be doing. Yeah, they 100%. should they should not be idolizing these guys no. at all. Yeah. But I mean, I, I agree with people when they say like these mother they're terrorists, dude. Like, yeah. That's what they are. They're they're intending to commit acts under what it, like even if it's vaguely political, yeah. even if they got some vaguely political manifesto, motherfucker, he went out there and killed a bunch of people in the name of something, dude. Yeah. That's fucked. Mm-hmm. So shit's know, fucked, dude. man. Yeah. You know what's crazy in, in London? Oh, I forget who I was talking to. They don't have weapons over there, but stabbings are just through the roof. No way, really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. It's just wild how humans find a way to do damage. Yeah. But, you know, you, you can't stab 100 people. Yeah. You, you could try. Yeah. But that's the... If you did that... It's just going to get dull. I mean, if you did that, that'd be crazy. You got to be like... <laughs> it's a lot of people to stab. Yeah. <laughs> It's high dexterity, dude. What kind yeah. of gems did you put in that thing? <laughs> exactly. How'd you buff it? That's wild. Well, we dude. shouldn't be laughing yeah. right now. Um, no, that's. I mean, hearts go out to all the um, victims, obviously. Yeah, dude. Of the, no, of these just, recent ones, it's fucking sad as fuck. I mean, and anyone who's who's suffered from this shit, mm-hmm. it's 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 really brutal. Yeah. You know, and I and I don't know. Obviously, no one. The obvious answer seems like just take the guns away, mm-hmm. which maybe you know maybe that is it. But holy shit, man, something's got to give. Yeah, how many kids got to fucking die, dude? I know. I can't even imagine if I had a kid going into college right now or even I'd high be school. Terrified, I'd be dude. Terrified. Yeah, a thousand percent. I just saw some shit in Texas. They're they're giving teachers guns. Yeah, like. You know, let the student. Why, why don't all the students bring guns, too? <laughs> Motherfucker. That's yeah. the answer, bro. Yeah. Oh, instead of arm yeah. everybody. Yeah, we'll put a thousand guns in there. Yeah. And uh, that way, this dude. <laughs> Can't wait to have our comments lit up. Some NRA dudes. I mean, we're not claiming that we. Whatever, man. If your attention span is that short, if you don't fucking get that I just said we don't have the answers or we're not sitting here saying what's right and what's wrong, you can't. Sit there. You can love guns all you want, dude. You can you can be all about the right to bear arms. That's fine. But you can't sit there and and not say that there shouldn't be some change. Like, mm-hmm. how can you not say that, man? Yeah. When you look at how easily some of these kids obtain these weapons, there it's got to be more than a fucking background check, dude. Yeah. You can't sit here and tell me that. Yeah, sure. You as a grown adult who respects the power of a weapon and you understand its use and intent, you're a logical, sane person. Totally. I'm not against you having a fucking firearm in your house. That's fine. It's when you get a a kid who is motivated to do whatever or is fucking devoid of empathy and he gets a weapon in his hands and whatever, some girl talks shit to him, uh, some kids bully him, whatever it be, younger people, just younger humans in general don't have that great of understanding of consequence. So they're willing to do stupid shit. You look at fucking gang violence, that's how that shit happens. You always hear it's the young kids that like have a point to prove. Mm-hmm. Like, give me that fucking strap, bro. I'm gonna go out there and do like do work. Like, that's just that's just kids. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I might be striking a lot of fucking flames here, but 
It's just, it's shitty. Yeah, no, I totally agree. That fucking, the girl that was, that 18 year old from like Florida or whatever, that was like, had some fat, uh, like infatuation with the Columbine shooting. And then on the anniversary of it, she flew to Denver and bought a shotgun. And everyone was like on high alert because then she just like disappeared. People were like, all right, just fucking keep an eye out for her. Yeah. <laughs> like she should not, like, I feel like she should not have been able to buy a shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's crazy. It fucking dude, even Wretch. Wretch was on Instagram bragging about like, Oh yeah, you could you could get a you you can get a strap from Walmart, motherfucker. It's like that 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 shouldn't be the case. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to buy towels and a fucking <laughs> and, and a gun. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, do we need anything else? Oh yeah, I need oh, a gun. Need, yeah, a gun. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's yeah, get the need gun. A gun. Yeah, it's it's just <laughs> like I don't know, dude. I I guess I felt some kind of way because I was like. Sitting in Europe and just my feed was just inundated with like worldwide fucking tragedy. I'm like, God damn it! I just had to turn it off. Yeah, but whatever. Fucking crazy, man. Look, we're uh, sorry if I'm politically ignorant. And I'm saying a lot of shit. Maybe I'm just spewing shit out that's been told to me, and my opinions aren't original. But I'm just, you know, it's fucked up, dude. Mm-hmm. I think that's okay to say. Anyway, uh, speaking of fucked up, <laughs> what? I was just gonna bring up this series on seventeen. This shit is so goofy. Do you have like you gonna play oh, it? Yeah. Well, I thought about playing it. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. Ooh. There, the, I the one I saw. I forget what it was, but it went kind of viral. Like people did a couple of videos on it. Yeah. Like the first one that got like a million or millions of views. Word. Because it was like some just awful, awful teenager, like just being awful to. <laughs> 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 it's so funny, man. It's just like the. It's just like the popular kids. Yeah. Is that what that one is? Kind of, okay. yeah. Yeah, and they're yeah. just like shitting on other people. Yeah. <laughs> and then the comments on this particular video were like, uh, this bitch needs to learn how to do her fucking makeup before she wants to talk about anybody else. Oh, I'm like, no. oh, fucking hey, man. Just Wait. more kids bullying other kids. I mean, and... bullying is going to happen. Yeah. That's definitely going to happen. Um, That's going to be your whole life, dude. That's, that's some shit where I, I don't agree with letting kids... Stuff each other in a locker and get the shit beat out of them, but you know, verbal abuse. <laughs> it's gonna happen, dude. Even in the workplace, in the workplace, people are gonna be nasty. Dude. Yeah, that's the shit that always trips me out. Is like you grow up thinking like, oh, you just report shit to HR. Yeah, and then like you learn, oh, HR is just for lawsuits. Yeah, they don't give a damn. Have you ever, have you ever like gone into HR like make a complaint? No. Well, I did it one time, and that's only because a manager told me to. Okay. But it was because it was a lawsuit. Uh, okay. It was crazy how long it was, it was at Best Buy. It was crazy what did how you long. Report? Dude, this supervisor, holy fuck. I've never met someone more insane. Okay. Like, holy shit. She took this job to another level. Um, like, so we had like sales metrics and shit and you know, whatever. And I was I was like at the tail end of working there. I just like didn't give a fuck and I found it really hard to give a shit about the job. And she was just, she would just be on my ass, like watching me like a hawk. She did this to everybody. I wasn't special. You know, she, you could be talking to a customer, right? And she'd be standing like maybe four feet away watching your entire interaction. That's creepy for the customer. Right. He's like, who the fuck is and this? And customers would do that. Like, they'd be like, is she going to? I'm like, oh, nah. And then I would ring them out. And then the second they walked away, some little critique. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? You said this. What is it? it was like. You're like, fuck off. Yeah. I made the sale. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then it was just like nothing was ever good enough. And then so I remember one time she pulls me outside of the store. Uh-huh. The dumbest thing she could have did. She's like, she starts teeing off on me in front of people walking into the store. Uh-huh. She's like, uh, she's like yelling at me like I'm her boyfriend almost. Like she's like, you don't fuck like the language she's using. She's like, you don't fucking do shit. You got this fucking attitude. You're so arrogant. Da, da, da. I had no idea where it came from. I'm just standing there like, what the fuck are you even on about? So she finishes her little rant and she just walks back in the store. And I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> this dude who used to own a land center that I used to go to all the time. He, uh, he was standing there. He watched the whole thing. And he used to come in all the time and just buy miscellaneous like electronics. And he walks up to me and he's like, you good? I'm like, holy shit. How, how you doing, dude? I didn't even know you were there. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And he's like, let me know if uh, you need to take that 
one step further. He's like, I'll write a statement. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. No, no, like, yeah. I'll take her out. Yeah. It's all she, good. She's gone. Yeah, yeah, Where's yeah. she drive? What's her license plate? <laughs> gone. Don't worry Taken about it. Taken care of, homie. <laughs> no, no. I didn't want. What are you talking about? I no, got her. No, she's done. Taken care of. We, 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 hold up, dude. It's just, it's just like a little. <laughs> no, it's, it's cool. There's no little, no I more. I got your back, man. I got your back. <laughs> You're my boy. You're like a son to me. I'm going to let anyone abuse you. No, but that's. that's this has been a weird day. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. You're just watching him. Follow her to her car. <laughs> no, no. I'm winking at you. It's fine. It's good. It's good. I got it. It's good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Turn around, please. <laughs> He's like, it's fine. Uh, yeah, dude. So then my manager uh, pulled me and like a bunch of other people in a room. He's like, all right, who here has had uh, this type of moment with her name? And everyone like raised their hands and everyone just like dished it out. And he goes, oh, shit. And then uh, he took all our statements and <laughs> dude. She had one day between that and like when she was canned. I remember she was watching me help another customer and I like looked over my shoulder like, is this going to be one of those moments? She looks at me, she's like, oh, no, I'm just here to, to observe and understand more. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? And she was gone the next day. Wow, weird. Yeah. Later. Dude, I was at the, speaking of fucking tech stores. <laughs> The Apple store? Yeah. So the one on the promenade has been closed forever because they I guess they're doing renovations. Nice. And I, I went in there the other day to get my phone repaired, by the way. I'm like, this shit hasn't charged through the hole forever. I have to use the fucking wireless chargers. Doesn't charge through the hole anymore. Doesn't charge through the hole. You just gotta um gotta pull the pants down. Yeah. And yeah, I just think it's not, you know, put it in the hole and it's not like hitting the end, you know. Got it's it. too small. Something Got like it. that. So I don't you gotta know, go something. through the back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So having like been able to charge my phone through anything but a fucking wired thing, which is annoying as fuck. So I finally make an appointment. I go into the Apple store, which I hate. I yeah. hate the Apple store. You know, yeah. immediately it's just this sea of green shirts and just chaos. And yeah. fucking, I walk in there. I'm like, I don't know who to talk to. Mm -hmm. Finally, this dude's like, you here for, what can I help you with? I'm like, I got a genius bar appointment. He's like, okay, cool. Just go wipe by that, by that table over there. I'm like. Which which table, dude? <laughs> just that one over there. Do I just go sit at the table? Yeah, yeah, just go sit at the table. Cool. More unknowns. Just infinite unknowns in that store. It's it's gonna go sit at that table and hope someone fucking comes over to it's me. The same way when you work there, dude. When you work for them, it's yeah. the same shit. We continue. Okay. No, but like other places have like a re like a standard procedure. You wait in line. You see the person you're gonna interact with. Something right. Apple's Apple Store is just this big fucking universe of 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 trash floating around so i go over there sit down and the guy comes over and he's like he's like you're cody right yeah oh having problems with the charge thing he's like watch this he takes a paper clip puts it in and just removes like a little bit of lint falls out he's like there you go that's that's it i'm like am i just the biggest idiot on the fucking planet i've been i haven't been able to charge my phone for three months is that really it and you oh yeah it was just lint just jammed in there <laughs> I was like, I'm so stupid. I felt like such an idiot. He, I said that to him. I was like, I feel, dude, I feel so dumb right now. He's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. You wouldn't want to do it by yourself anyways. You know, you fuck up some of the pins in there. Or whatever. I'm like, you just took a paper clip in there. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to do this by yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Licks his finger. <laughs> yeah, that's, you wouldn't want to do that by yourself. Anyways, we're sitting there and I look over and part of the renovations apparently is this fucking giant ass LCD screen that they've added that they've built into the back wall. And like all these little like wooden block seats. Oh yeah. Which were all completely empty. And there was like a webinar going on. Like this girl was giving a seminar on how to like add text to your photos. Like I half expected that Postmates driver to be sitting there like learning how to, you know, it's like the shit that old people <laughs> need to know how to learn. Yeah. yeah to learn how to do. That's where you drop off your grandpa when you really don't want to deal yeah, with it. Yeah, exactly. Just like fucking, you get an, him an iPad for Christmas. Here, yeah, learn he all about it. <laughs> how back. do I add the text to the pic? Oh, here, yeah, go here. There you go. So I'm gonna teach you right there. I'll see you in three hours. So she's on a microphone and it's like amplified sound, but it's like it, the acoustics are so bad in there because it's just concrete, yeah. the whole thing, yeah. that it's just bouncing off the walls and it just sounds like a muffled, like, <laughs> this guy's trying to help me. And I'm like, this is, they somehow figured out how to make the worst place on earth even worse. <laughs> just infinitely more annoying. Yeah. Yeah, because everyone loves a good webinar. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what the Apple Store needed. 
Yeah. I walked in I walk in there and I say, No, this place doesn't need like organization or, you know, like a like a just <laughs> something that would make it a little bit more relaxing, maybe. It yeah. needs a fucking webinar in the yeah. back. Yep. Yeah. Just to put the fucking just the icing on the cake. I love how uh <clears throat> App, Apple stores are like, it's like a array of beehives, like just fucking humans just crawling over these desks yeah. with these little fucking electronics. It's like little kids mm-hmm. fighting to fucking put their face in front of it. Like, yeah. I want to do the cat one now. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just like, yeah. you're just trying to walk through that shit. Yeah. That, that should be a fuck. And someone needs to make one of those fake deep art posts. <laughs> There's a bunch of naked people climbing over like tables with iPads on them. Nice. And dude walking through it like, I just my genius for our appointment. Damn. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's like that's some deep shit because it kind of makes you think. You yeah. Know? Disconnect, dude. Yeah, exactly. Try disconnecting. Dude. Try. Maybe try living. <laughs> yeah, try living. Um, I could either look outside and I don't know, observe the world, or I could look at a picture of a girl passed out with shit in her ass <laughs> that, at that was 9 a.m. hardcore, man. That's a crazy-ass picture. That was hardcore. It was a crazy-ass picture. It really was. You got to be fucked up to, to shit. shit yourself. Yeah. You know anybody that's done the drunk shit? Um, Probably. Yeah. There was a popular girl in high school who did it and just, like, it ruined her uh, popular career. Really? Yeah. E- ethered her career. Took her out early. That sucks. Rookie transfer from another school. Everyone was real excited. Dude herself at a party. She was the shit girl. Oh, no. <laughs> like that gun girl on Twitter. That's like what her. it was. A, that's what this image was a reply to. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> some dude was getting... <laughs> she was interviewing some dude. He's like, you know, I think there's a more pressing question here. And, you know, it's something that I think we should be more focused on, and that is, did you shit yourself at that party? <laughs> she's like, why are we even talking? We should talk about it. Like, she tries to pivot away, and I'm just... Oh, so he said that to her live? She's interviewing No him, way. And he gets her. Oh, my God. Can I pull it up? Um, uh, Yeah, I can pull it up. Or you, you know, click the link. Yeah, that's what I was just click the li- Click the link in the description, dude. And um, Replying to... No, it's... Oh, here we go. Your name's Caitlin Bennett, right? Mm-hmm. What's your name? Mustafa. I think there's one. I think there's one really important question, and that's, did you shit yourself at a Brad party? Why are you talking about that when we're talking about students? You know what? We should go. <laughs> what? That's great. Why well did, executed, my friend. Why well we, executed. Why would? Why did? Why? Why are we talking about that when we should be talking about? No, 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 no. That's so much poop. Oh yeah. That's so much poop. Yeah. Man, we can't show that image. No, we can't. Speaking of graphic stuff, I want to announce formally that we have been given the okay to do our shocker porn episode. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the caveat. <laughs> we can't show the sex part. So the, the content can't be intended to arouse the viewer. It's got to serve a greater purpose. But we can we can play the sound. We can play the sound, okay. and we can show a portion of it. So my solve for that would be to... Get Brandon to create a couple custom like um uh <laughs> like those like those things that you see at like a at a cornfield maze. You know, it's like the little wooden cutout where you put your face in it. Yeah. And like you smile. Yeah. And yeah. So I want a few pictures like that. Okay. And we'll just use image stabilization on the girl's face. Okay. So it'll just be like a still image of a, you know. Yeah. Somebody standing with a flower. <laughs> and her face is just going, oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever that's it be, funny. That's yeah. Funny. You know, or some of it we might just have to describe. Yeah. Someone sent me a video of a girl just perfectly pooping a strawberry onto a cupcake. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's the kind of <laughs> shit we need to react to. That's so good. The shocker porn. That's just like what, like the hot dog coming out <laughs> of the ass, just onto the bun, perfectly. <laughs> And you're like, it's not even that gross. It's just <laughs> fucking hilarious. There's another one that I'm going to save for um, the video. Okay. Because that one was like, <laughs> like my jaw dropped. You could watch the one a hundred times. I don't think it would ever not shock you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to make an email address and I'll announce it on Twitter and you can send us your, your links mm-hmm. and Corbin and I are going to watch it and react to it. Um, and that'll be our debut of getting our uh, screen recording synced yeah. with 
the audio. Okay. And no more will we have this issue of a, yeah, look at this video. Let me play this shit yeah. in the fucking yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will be great. And also, um, I just want to say that, th- I just want to thank everyone that sent emails about the producer position. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We've- I did go, I didn't have time to reply to all of them, but I did go through all of them. And we're going to talk to some people. We've narrowed it down. And, um, well, for the most part, we have, but... Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone. We did read them all, and so thank you for people that reached out. Yeah, and sent me their resumes and some of the, some of the, some of your resumes are. <laughs> I'm not making fun of the resumes, but some people like did intentionally funny resumes. Yeah, which was hilarious. Like someone under work experience put <laughs> number one podcast <laughs> list listener. Or yeah, something like that. yeah, so <laughs> avid funny. tiny meat gang fan. Yeah, I was like that's your work experience. Damn, <laughs> you send that to other people too. <laughs> but I mean, if you're die hard, that does count. Yeah, exactly. So it um, does count. Thank you to everyone that sent out um, applications. Yeah. Hopefully we can find someone and we can fucking grow this thing. Yeah. And make it like a real, we'll get a new studio, we'll do it up. Yeah, that's really our goal is uh, yeah. definitely a new studio. Um, and Because we the thing is, we have all the gear for it. We've been building all the gear to go bigger. Mm-hmm. Now we just need to find a place mm-hmm. uh, to get it done, though. So I'm, I'm, I'm hyped, boo. He's gonna be our Jamie. Yeah. Where exactly. are we at? Where, where are we at? We're done. We're done. We I are. Gotta go. Yeah. Thank really? you guys. Yes, we are. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's crazy because I had seventeen other things. Yeah, of course that. you did. <laughs> you know the drill, guys. TMGPod.com if you want to get merch, and uh, we are going. We got still got some tickets left for Milwaukee in June. Yes. So hit TinyMeatTour.com if you want to get those, and stay tuned for an announcement next week. Yeah, that's what that's gonna be a big one. Yeah, and we're working on some fun stuff. So we are now that we're back, we're heads down, we're Grinding. doing it. So, all right, y'all, gang, peace. We love you. Keep it real, <laughs> bro. On God, bro. <laughs>